بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان آر لیکچر سکس وی ڈسکسڈ دا نیچر آف رو ڈسکریمنٹ اینڈ وی سالو دا ایکسرسائز ٹو پوائنٹ ون ٹوڈے ان لیکچر سیون بفور اسٹارٹنگ ایکسرسائز ٹو پوائنٹ ٹو آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ایکسپلین how you will find the cube roots of unity and then we will discuss the properties of cube roots of unity so for example we will start with this topic how you will find the cube roots of unity if you are going to find the cube roots of unity then you should put you should suppose x equal to 1 raised to power 1 upon 3. Firstly, let x be the cube root of unity. Then you should put x is equal to 1 raised to power 1 upon 3. Then after taking cube on both sides, you will get x cube is equal to 1. And when you will bring this 1 towards left, then this will become x3 minus 1. After its factorization of r after using the formula on x cube minus 1 you will get this result now when the product of these two brackets is equal to 0 then this will give us x minus 1 is equal to 0 will give us a root of unity that is x is equal to 1 and in this case you have to use quadratic formula already in previous lectures in chapter 1 we have uh, discussed uh, that solution by quadratic formula in a comprehensive way in detail so after using quadratic formula in the in this equation in this case you will get the values of x that is minus 1 plus minus iota under root 3 actually this was minus 3 within the square root and you know that minus 1 square root minus 1 is equal to iota so we got these two values one with positive sign one with negative sign this with positive sign is called omega and this is omega square so we have found the cube roots of unity one and these two very interesting is that these two omega and omega square are the complex cube roots of unity so these are three cube roots of these are the cube roots of unity now we will discuss the properties of cube roots of unity first property that is mentioned in your book that is complex cube roots of unity properties of cube roots of unity at page 23 first point, first property is that each complex cube root of unity is the square of the other first property is this one that is already given in your book second property is very interesting very useful in your questions that is product of cube roots of unity are product of cube roots of unity is equal to 1 In other words, omega three is equal to one. This is very important, useful property. Whereas the third property, which is given in your book, that is each complex cube root of unity is the reciprocal. Third one, each complex cube root of unity is the reciprocal of other. In other words, omega is 
रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ ओमेगा स्क्वेयर ओमेगा स्क्वेयर इज द रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ ओमेगा वेयर एज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यूजफुल प्रॉपर्टी इज सम ऑफ सम ऑफ क्यूब रूट्स ऑफ यूनिटी इज इक्वल टू वन सो फ्रॉम दिस फॉर्मूला वी मे डिराइव टू अदर फार्मूलाज रादर थ्री फार्मूलाज वन प्लस ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा स्क्वेयर थर्ड वन ओमेगा प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन वन प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू माइनस ओमेगा सो दीज आर द फोर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ क्यूब रूट्स ऑफ यूनिटी नाउ वी विल यूज दीज प्रॉपर्टीज वाइल सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्साइज टू पॉइंट टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन क्वेश्चन टू पार्ट सेकेंड वी आर वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस very simple not difficult first you should take minus 1 common it will become omega plus omega square already i mentioned here this is minus 1 so after simplification you will see that 4 raised to power 5 that's equal to 10 24 okay in question 5 in part 5 of the same question you are facing a different situation you are given this one no problem don't worry because already we have discussed in this portion uh this is omega okay if this is omega then 2 omega is equal to minus 1 plus under root minus 3 so very simple in place of this you can write 2 omega whereas in this case you can write 2 omega square and 2 raised to power 6 64 omega 6 this again this is 64 omega 12 now converting this omega 6 omega cube raised to power 2 okay now you you should use this property omega q is equal to 1 so this will become 64 this is 64 and after adding this you will get 128 so now i am using the properties of cube roots of unity in the questions in a practical way so my dear now in this question 3 again we will use the properties of cube roots of unity in this question you have to show that this is equal to this so first you take right hand side and in right hand side don't Touch this bracket x plus y. You should multiply these two brackets first because in this one omega is present and you have to uh, use properties in this case. So after multiplying these two brackets, we got this result: omega square x y plus omega x y. Take x y common. This is omega square plus omega. Plus again, omega three. That's already equal to one. We have discussed this. Omega three is equal to one. So in place of omega three, you should write one, and in place of omega square plus omega, you should write minus one. So it will become x square minus x y plus y square, and this is the already you know that this is the formula. X cube plus product of these two brackets will be x three plus y three. So we started with right hand side. We got left hand side. So left side is equal to 
right hand side so we got the result we have solved this question 3 similarly in question 4 and 5 you may use you have to use these properties and in the same manner you will solve the question 4 and 5 now in lecture 8 next coming lecture 8 we will discuss the uh, roots and coffee about the roots in next coming lecture we will discuss interesting uh, things about the roots and coefficient of quadratic equation okay so in lecture 8 we will continue uh, the same concept we will use the uh, properties of cube roots of unity and we will discuss a new exercise 2.3 in next coming lecture 8 okay thank you very much so nice